Welcome to the Richmond Olympic Oval for today's U-17 BCEHL contest between the U-17 Greater Vancouver Canadians and the Fraser Valley Thunderbirds. My name is KP Wee and I'll be bringing you the play-by-play -play description of today's contest. It is a battle between the first and second place teams in the U-17 standings and right now the Canadians lead the way with 44 points atop the U-17 standings and the Fraser Valley Thunderbirds with 40 points, just four points back. And this is the 32nd game for both teams. And the Rockets and the Giants are tied for third with 38 points, but they have played two more games than the Thunderbirds. That uh, you can say it is a battle for first place as only four points separate the first place Canadians and the second place Thunderbirds and in fact this is the second game of the home and home series with the Thunderbirds winning yesterday 4-2 at the Abbotsford Center and the Thunderbirds have won six of the last seven and looking to complete the home and home sweep this morning and again, we mentioned this is the 32nd game played for both the Canadians and the Thunderbirds. And uh, this is also, in fact, the final Sunday regular season game at the Oval. And we'll be bringing you the action here and happy to be doing so. The season series is tied 1-1-1 and with both teams winning one game and the other one ending in a tie uh, back on November 25th. The Canadians won 2-1 to one at the Oval. And the next day at the Abbotsford Center, the same two teams played to a 2-2 tie. And then, as we mentioned yesterday, Abbotsford, or in Abbotsford, the Thunderbirds won 4-2. So the series is tied 1-1-1. One, one, and, one. and today's game, and there is another game, actually, February the 18th, between these two clubs in Surrey for the Showcase Weekend next week so a couple more games between these two clubs and definitely a real possibility for the Thunderbirds to overtake the Canadians in the standings and we are two minutes and 42 seconds away from the end of the warm-ups and we should tell you that for the Thunderbirds victory yesterday it was the Thunderbirds jumping out to one nothing lead in the second period before Aiden Mark and John Bethel both scored for the Canadians to give GVC a 2-1 to lead. But Noah Weinberger scored his 13th of the season to tie it up with only 41 seconds left in the second. I don't know if you can call that a turning point, but the uh, late goal by Weinberger with 41 seconds left in the second period tied it at 2-2. And then Shane Fillinger scored his eighth of the season, or probably his ninth of the season, I should say, to put them up 3-2 in the third period. And Mateo Caucus scored his tenth of the season, his second of the game, in fact, to make it 4-2. And that's where things stood, or that's how the game ended, I should say, for the hockey game. And so 4-2 last night in Abbotsford. It was actually a day game, so probably yesterday afternoon, that's when the game ended. So, this game here, uh, the Thunderbirds will be looking to complete the sweep of the home and home series, but the Canadians, of course, will be looking to put some distance between themselves and the Thunderbirds. So, for the Canadians, uh, again, we mentioned already yesterday, Aiden Mark scored a goal, and that, that would be his 13th of the season. John Bethel, his ninth of the year. So the Canadians will be looking for those two to get them on track in this one. Also, Josh Mitten, another player to watch. He has 13 goals on the season, of course. And Suraj Ramal, 14 goals on the year. Healy has won 15 on the season. Trevor Chin has 11 on the year. And uh, we go down the whole list, of course. Luca Matinia leads the way with 19 goals for GVC. So all kinds of players who are able to put the puck in the net. And for the Thunderbirds, 
we want to pay attention to number 71, Anthony Drover. He leads the team in goals and points. He has 16 goals and 32 points on the season. So definitely a player to watch. And we mentioned also Noah Weinberger with a goal, his 13th last night or yesterday's game again, I should say. Uh, Riley Green has 19 assists, number 89 for the Thunderbirds. He is their assist leader. We mentioned Matteo Kokas with two goals yesterday. He wears number 79 for the Thunderbirds. So with a star-studded lineup for both clubs, able to put the puck in the net. And we're actually going to step aside now as the end of the warm-ups has taken place and they'll be doing the national anthem momentarily. You're watching this game on PlayfulScreen.com. We'll be back in a moment. Well, the national anthem has been played and the warm-ups are done and it's time to play hockey here as it is the U-17 Greater Vancouver Canadians taking on the U-17 Fraser Valley Thunderbirds on the Sunday, February 11th, 2024 as this is the final regular season home game of the season at the Oval and our thanks to Rick Chen doing the PA announcing informing us of the penalty situation as well as other updates so play has begun here in the first period in goal for the Fraser Valley Thunderbirds number 29 Mason Clegg his 17th game of the season a record of 8, 5, 1 and 2 and a 2.76 goals against average at the other end is Liam Leslie number 33 this is his 16th game play a record of 8, 4, 2 and 0 oh, with one shutout and a 2.90 goes against average. 32 seconds into this hockey game here on PlayFullScreen.com. As the play is in the Canadian zone as Leslie comes out of his net to play the puck. That's Bethel coming in. Bethel with it. Bethel, oh, he falls down and gives the puck away. A possible breakaway chance here for the Thunderbirds. And they score! And it's 1-0 for the Fraser Valley Thunderbirds. That's Samuel Wetton with the goal, his sixth of the season. So Wetton, the goal, his sixth of the season as that was a breakaway. A great feed and a great goal. So Wetton, his sixth of the year, makes it 1-0 here for the Thunderbirds as they get that important first goal of the hockey game. So we'll see if the Canadians will bounce back and come back from this. But Samuel Wetton, his sixth of the season. So that one coming at the 12.33 mark of the first period. And with 14.48 remaining in regulation, the Thunderbirds on the power play try to add to their 1-0 lead. And we've seen the Canadians have shorthanded chances this game. And they'll need one perhaps. But right now Weinberger with it. Into the Canadian zone. A shot there. Side of the end. It goes in and it's 2-0. And the Thunderbirds have scored to double their lead to 2-0. And that is a power play goal. As Anthony Drover, his 17th of the season. Team leading 17th of the season to make it 2-0. And that's on the power play with 14.32 left in regulation time. So Anthony Drover... The leading scorer, both in goals and points for the Thunderbirds. Making it 2 nothing here. So, two players in the penalty box for the Thunderbirds. 
Pass. Another pass. It's stopped there by Mason Clegg. And the Canadians get the possession of the puck again. 33 seconds left in the penalty against Drover. Five on three. And with the goalie out, six on three advantage for the Canadians. Pass. Another pass to the slot. Shaw. That was wide. 16 seconds to go in the first penalty. That one against Drover. And they score here. And finally, that brings a shutout. And some pushing and shoving. And more pushing there. But the shutout has been broken as the Canadians have scored here. On a six on three. And a lot of rough stuff happening now. But we can say that the Canadians are back in this game with 12.04 remaining in regulation time. And... Well, Brett Woodard has left the ice to head to the dressing room. And in the meantime, that looks like a goal by Josh Mantle. And that will be his fifth of the season to make it a 2-1 to -one game with 12.04 left in regulation time. So that goal happened with a 6-on-3 advantage. And also Josh... 33 seconds left. It's clear to center eyes. And now Leslie heads to the bench for an extra skater. But the Canadians have to retreat back in their own zone with the puck. 18 seconds to go. Pass to center eyes. Coming in. 13 seconds to go. The puck goes in the near corner. Six on five here. But the puck is cleared out to center eyes with only five seconds to go. And time will run out on the Canadians here as the buzzer has sounded to end this hockey game by a score of 2-1 to one for the Fraser Valley Thunderbirds. So the Thunderbirds win this one as it is a 2-1 game. Fraser Valley winning despite being outshot. 40 to 27 in this hockey game. So Mason Clegg with 39 saves for the Thunderbirds. And Liam Leslie, 25 stops in a solid effort, an outstanding effort actually by both goaltenders. And the post game handshakes, but it is the Thunderbirds pulling to within two points of first place. So the Canadians fall to 28, 2 and 2, and the Thunderbirds improve to 18, 8, 3 and 3. So the Thunderbirds pull to within two points of first place with another showdown next week on Sunday between these two clubs in Surrey in the showcase for the U17 teams. But what a game, what a finish. It was a thrilling game for sure. You didn't know how it was going to go. But in the end, it is a Thunderbirds winning by a score of 2-1. to one. And again, the final home game in the regular season for the U-17 Canadians. And they will be in a showcase next week in Surrey. A valiant effort for the Canadians. A hard-fought victory for the Thunderbirds. They win this game 2-1. And that will do it for us here on the broadcast. We thank you for tuning in. My name is KP Wee, and we hope you enjoyed the rest of your weekend, the rest of your Sunday. And join us again next Wednesday, or this coming Wednesday, for the U18 Canadians game against the U18 Thunderbirds on PlayfulScreen.com from the Oval at 7.30 p.m. and on Valentine's Day on Wednesday. Until then, have a pleasant rest of your day and goodbye for now.